Hello, in this video I'd like to go over the process of saving a new file into WorldDocs. Now I'll be doing this through Microsoft Word, but the process is basically the same whether you're in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Adobe, or any other application that we have integration with. So I've started typing my document, now I'm ready to save it for the first time. I can either go into the WorldDocs ribbon and choose my save file or save as new file, since it's a brand new file from here, or I can do my keystroke combination of Control S or I can click on the word save. Either way, it's going to pop up the World Docs Save As dialog on the initial save. Notice that it initially throws the beginning of your document into the description field. Uh, if you want, you can leave that there, or you can put your mouse cursor in there and backspace over it, and then type in a different description. Um, if you want to add comments to the document, just hit the Enter key at the end of the description. It'll expand that box and show you where you can put the comments. Then you can type in additional comments information. You have a spell check button over here and a undo button as well. So you have those options is available. Um, you have your cabinet, so you'll default to whatever your default cabinet is. But if you want to save this document into a different cabinet, you can hit the drop down list and select from one of your other available cabinets. I'm just going to save it to the client files. And now I need to populate the client matter and doc type metadata. And I have different ways that I can do this. One, I can hit the drop down, which will show me historical listing of recently used codes that I've used in that field. I can just select from this list. If I know what the code is, I can just type it in and enter the code in here and it'll populate it for me. Or if I'm not sure, I can just click on the field table button to the left, have access, and just start typing in here. It'll just start walking ahead until you find a code that you're looking for. Another thing is off to your left, you have your favorite matters. From here, if I want to save it into a matter that I've worked on in the past, I can just double click on one of these. It'll automatically populate with that information. You also have the ability to copy the metadata from an existing document. So if I want this document to have the same metadata as a document that's already in the system, I can click on this button here. It'll launch World Docs. I can select the document and then notice it brings this information up. Whatever boxes you check is what information will get thrown back into this particular save screen. So I'm just going to hit cancel on that. I'll choose my doc type. And now categories. If you're using category codes at your site, you can also add a category here. Category codes are just additional pieces of metadata that you can add to your document so that you can search, uh, sort, and filter on those. Um, later on when you're looking at your documents in World Docs. So if I click on my drop down, I'll see my recently used categories and I can select one from there. Add security. By default, any document you save in World Docs is considered a public document and anyone that has permissions to this particular cabinet will have full permissions to this document. If you want to add security, you can add security to the document. Click on the button here. Custom is where you can grant specific privileges or rights to certain users or groups. Hidden and protected will apply directly to user fields on your cabinet, so in this case author and typist. If I make it hidden, only the author, the typist, and a World Docs manager will be able to find this document and work on this document. If I make it protected, only the author, typist, and a World Docs manager will be allowed to edit the document, but everyone else that has permissions to this cabinet will be able to see the document as a read-only document within the system. If you want to relate this file to another document in the system, you can do that by hitting the Relate To. Save as a version. If let's say I want to, I've tired typing this document up, but now I want to save it as a version of an existing document in the system, I can click on that button and find that existing document and then save it as a version of that document. Save to a project. If you're working with project files in World Docs and you want to add this document to a project, you can click on the Save to Project. It'll bring up this informative dialog telling you what to do. Then over here you have your project files. You just select what project you want to add it to and check the box and notice it adds it there. I'm going to undo this and close that out. Then you have Make Defaults, so if you want to set your defaults for your saves, you can set that as well. You also have the ability to save as a different file type. So it's going to default to whatever the default is for the native application, in this case a docx file for Word. 
but it'll also allow you to save to whatever file formats that application will allow you to save to natively. So let's say you want to save this Word document as a PDF file. You hit the drop down and you can choose PDF from this list. Or let's say you wanted to save this as a HTML web page. Since Word allows you to do that, you could scroll down, find that format, and save that. So it gives you those options. WorldDocs isn't going to add any additional file formats to this list. It's just going to show you what is natively in the application you're working in, in this case, Word. And then we'll go ahead and we'll click the OK button to save this document. Now once the document's saved, you'll notice that it puts the descriptive name in the title bar along with the document number that's generated by WorldDocs. If I type in some more text and then hit the Save button again, notice it doesn't prompt me for any additional information. You're only going to see that prompt on the initial save or if you do a Save As on an existing document. So once I close this document, I open it back up to work on it and type some more and hit save. It's just going to save it to where you initially profiled that document. And so that's how you initially save your documents within WorldDocs.